Hello, welcome back. Shortly after my Dynamic video on 24th November last year, on 18 December, they announced the proposed bonus issue of warrants for shareholder. The warrants have been trading for more than a week, so here is an update about the warrant issues and whether anything changed about Dynamic. Before we begin, the usual disclaimer, please do your own research. For every 5 share owned, one warrant will be issued. The investor will have to pay 15 cents to convert one warrant to one share. The warrant is trading now until 22nd October. I will share the timeline and things to watch later. The warrant issues will increase the total number of shares by 20%. The company will gain a gross proceed of 31 million, which will be used for yacht development, general corporate and working capital purposes. This video is slightly late, but there are opportunities that we can take advantage of. The warrant can trade at a discount or a premium to the share price. When the share price is trading at 25 cents, the warrant should be trading at 10 cents because this is the difference between the share price and its 15 cents conversion. If the warrants trade for less than 10 cents, that's a discount. When the warrants are trading persistently at a discount, this means that the market is bearish on the share price and believe the share price will drop. If the warrant trade at more than 10 cents, that's a premium. This means that the market is bullish and believe that the share price will go up. Hence, the market is willing to pay the warrants at a premium. During the first few days of the warrant listing, they were trading at a discount. On 29th January, the warrant just rallied 30% to close up the discount, though the share price inched up by one cent. The market either realized how the warrants work or the potential of the dynamic. Now the warrants is tracking the share price well, we can still make money from the warrants. Warrant is a leverage play. Let's assume that the share price is 24 cents and the warrant theoretical price is 9 cents. When the share price jumps to 30 cents, that's a 25% jump, the warrant should be trading at 15 cents and that is a 66% jump. If the share price spread to 35 cents, that's a 46% jump, the warrant should be trading at 20 cents and this is a 122% increase. Conversely, if the share price sinks to 20 cents, that's a drop of 17 cents the warrant will sink more, 44%. This is max, nothing complicated. The chart shows the higher percentage change of the warrants to every one cent increase in share price. Piecing them together, when the stock becomes more bullish and moving up, the discount to the share price will reduce and it may trade at a premium like what is happening right now. The market is confident of the share price. Warrants will rally more than the share price in percentage terms as the warrant approaches its expiry, the discount and premium will reduce. Hence, when we are bullish about the stocks, leverage and discount will give warrants more alpha. On the other hand, when the market is bearish and the share price keep moving down, discount will increase, the warrant will crash more. The discount will increase as the warrant approaches its expiry. Many do not want to convert and the warrant can become worthless. When the market is bearish, sell early. Hope you have a better understanding of the relationship between the shares and the warren. So, is Dynamax good? I've discussed Dynamax in detail in the previous video. I will take a few charts to summarize here. Dynamax has been turning around and progressing well. Revenue is growing well. Gross and net margin are inching up. Net order book is strong and increasing well. They have to expand, else they have to turn down orders. They are expanding and having new initiatives. This takes time to execute and show results. We will need to keep validating their execution and performance. They are doing well. They plan to continue to do well. Learning from the last boom and bust of the oil and gas, they are becoming more prudent to survive possible storm and thrive in the longer term. Using the closing price yesterday, the share price at 24.5 cents and Warren at 9.3 cents, Taking into account the conversion of the warrants into shares, the trailing 12 month PE is 15.15 times if we buy the shares. The PE is slightly lower at 15 times if we buy the warrants to convert to shares. Looking at the chart, it is currently at support. The next support is 20 cents. This will give a trailing 12 month PE of 12.4 times. I'm bullish about Dynamax given their financial performance so far and their plan to grow. Of course, we have to keep validating to stay bullish. It is cheaper to buy the warrants to convert to shares given the possible discount and leverage. Market may not be familiar with how the warrants work. Buy the warrants with the intention to convert. 
the warrant will expire on 22nd October and this may not be a long runway to profit. During the period of the warrants, a few things to take note of. Feb is the release of their results. April is their EGM. August is the release of their first half results. The exercise period of the warrant will start in July, six months after the trading of the warrants. Do look out for updates from the company. 22nd October is the last trading day of the warrants. In between, news of the order book and macro news will influence the trading of the warrants and the shares. That's all for now. Hope you find the video useful. Do give a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.